Today, I'm going to be talking about my experience with the Japanese police and my weird experience of dealing with them. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the reason why I think I was pulled over a lot. And I think my situation is very unique and a bit different. Um, but I have some theories as to why I was pulled over a lot more so than I'm sure like your average Japanese person or any tourist or anyone. Uh, in Japan. Just start off, these are all on the street. They're not like driving. I, I didn't drive in Japan. It was more so when I was on my bicycle riding around or when, you know, I'd just be walking around town and uh, police officers would pull me aside and, yeah, basically kind of ask me for my ID and stuff. But so, kind of reflecting on the times that I did get pulled over in Japan. There were so many times that it was to a point where I was getting really anxious that I was being pulled over because it was like a guaranteed if I saw a police officer and he was nearby or we made eye contact, he would, you know, slowly start walking towards me and ask for my ID. And I knew it was always coming because they would make eye contact with me. And then it was to the point where I would start getting really anxious and really stressed out. And at the time I was a bit unsure of as to why but now looking back on it i totally understand why they would approach me and it has to do the very first thing i want to talk about is the way that you look and the way that you uh you hold yourself and the way that the image is such a big thing in japan that if you're if you look like someone who is bad in a way uh which i you know, my style was very uh, daggy and uh, I wore like ripped shirts and stuff. That's something that a lot of Japanese people don't wear. I, I didn't look like a, a clean Japanese person. Um, I think if I dressed really well all the time, then the police officers would kind of just look past me and be like, oh, he's a you know good citizen. He's not gonna do anything or he hasn't done anything. Um, so there's no reason to stop someone. In my situation, I would, I would wear ripped shirts all the time just because they were, I don't know, cool shirts that I had um, and I liked the shirt and it was ripped. Yeah, police officers would kind of, uh, whenever they see me, they would stop me, it, especially when I was wearing the ripped shirts because there was one time specifically where a police officer pulled me aside and I think it was like the third time that I was pulled over within a week. Um, and I was like, all right, this is, you know, I, I asked the police officer, hey, what, why are you pulling me aside? In Japanese, of course. And um, he basically told me that he pulled me over because he saw my ripped shirt and he thought that I had gotten into a fight and was running away or, you know, was going home, you know, going home from a fight or something. And he was just asking for my ID and everything. And um, that's something that when I asked him, I was like, oh, wow, actually, that's probably why... Um, a lot of people, a lot of the police officers that have been pulling me aside is because of the way I, that I look. And ever since that, I started kind of wearing non-ripped shirts. I threw that shirt away uh, because after that situation, I was like, oh, it's not even worth me, you know, uh, getting asked for my ID. And, and at the time, I was walking to work a lot and I didn't want to be late to work and stuff. So I basically was like, all right, well, um, if that's one of the reasons why they're going to pull me over, then I... I would rather not have that situation. So I threw away my all my ripped shirts um, because the Japanese police obviously would profile you based on what you wear and the way that you look. And me personally, uh, because I'm a 6'4 Asian guy, I think that in itself makes you stand out a lot. Uh, because when I'm walking in Japan, especially, I, my head is like a whole head above a normal Japanese person. So that in itself, that made me stand out of the crowd. And on top of that, wearing really daggy ripped clothes, a police officer is going to find me as an easy target to kind of pull me over. And I think that's the main reason why I was pulled over a lot. It was it had to do with the way that I looked as well as being uh, someone who stood out a lot, uh, literally because I was like, you know, a whole head taller than everyone else when I was walking on the street. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I was pulled over a lot. Like I said earlier, I was stopped by police all the time, uh, meaning like there was a point where it was like, you know, once a week. And then that one week that I had three times that uh, the police pulled me over. And that's when I started getting really anxious whenever whenever I'd see police in Japan. Usually in Japan, uh, in, the, in the past, I wouldn't 
feel like negative or positive thing towards police in Japan, but at, at that point in my life, um, yeah, I was definitely feeling very uh, negative, you know, negative feelings towards the police in Japan. So what also didn't help is that I lived in one of the poorest areas of Japan, which is Shin Imamiya. And compared to any other parts of Japan, I think that Shin Imamiya definitely has a lot of police officers patrolling. Usually they're walking, you know, with two police officers um, together kind of patrolling around. And yeah, it was just really um, a weird time in my life where I would always... Uh, get really anxious when I would see police officers in Japan and it wasn't like I was doing it I was never doing anything wrong I wasn't doing anything illegal or bad um, it was just the way that I looked and it, basically I would just give my ID they check it and um, they're like okay well I didn't do anything so they would just let me off and it was just more of an annoying thing to kind of take my wallet out and take my ID out every time and you know having to conversate for like a few minutes and tell my situation oh this is a ripped shirt because it's it's just my you know it's just my shirt it's a it's a style but when it happens over and over again it becomes a bit of an annoyance and yeah so basically that's that's one of the reasons why police would pull me over another reason why someone would get pulled over and the reason why i was pulled over once was because my wife was on the back of my bike and that's something that you're not allowed to do in japan Obviously, people in Japan do it all the, uh, not all the time, but you see people doing it. It's one of those things where you're not supposed to do it, but people do it kind of thing. And if you do it right in front of a police officer, then they'll definitely stop you. And that's one of the reasons why I was pulled over once as well, because yeah, my wife was riding on the back of my bike because we were going home and I just had my bicycle and it was quicker to get home. If there's a nice police officer, they'll just tell you to get off and you know, kind of give you a warning like and let, let you off so obviously nothing bad happens um you know it, it's just a quick id thing and it's really crazy because when you're a japanese person or speaks or understands japanese and you're talking to them it's so much more different um than if you are a foreigner who's who gets pulled over or um a foreigner or tourist who's um who doesn't know the law and just kind of you know does whatever uh and it's weird because sometimes the police to foreigners are so you know it's called the gaijin card but if you're a foreigner they won't even like the the rules of japan are so much more lenient where i look japanese and i speak japanese um f at least fluently on a conversational level uh when i'm in japan and they think that i'm just a straight up japanese person so i should know the rules and um the they're a lot harsher on me personally so especially when um, you know, in the situation of the bicycle where my wife was riding on the back of the bicycle, um, I got it a lot harder and I, I feel like if I was, you know, a foreigner who didn't speak any Japanese at all, um, they probably wouldn't even want to kind of go further, uh, you know, asking for my ID and stuff because there's so many reasons as to why they wouldn't go further in a, in a situation like this where it's like not really a crime. It's, it's just like a, it's a really small, it's a, it's a really small thing. And there was also another time where a police officer stopped me because my bicycle was being too loud when I rode the bike. And it was, um, every time I rotated the, the pedal, it would make like a clinking sound. It would be like clink, clink because when my wife would ride on the back of my bicycle it just kind of uh, bent the wheel I think a little bit and the spokes were all bent so every time it would rotate it'd make a sound and I remember one time I was riding home from work and the police officer stopped me he was like he waved me down while I was on my bicycle like going down from Umeda all the way to Shimamiya and on my you know when I got to Shimamiya into town there was a police officer and he kind of waved me down and stopped me and asked me for my ID and yeah, it was basically, he said, you know, why is your make your, why is your bicycle making that sound? You know, it's pretty loud. And he wasn't telling me to fix it, but he was kind of saying, oh yeah, it's pretty loud. And, you know, passively kind of saying that I should fix it. I ended up throwing that bike away anyway. So I think there's a lot of reasons why I was pulled over, uh, kind of reflecting on my time in Japan when I lived in Shimamiya. Ultimately, everyone will have a different situation, different story. But um, something that I realized while I was living there and the reason why I was being pulled over was, first of all, the image. The way that you look has a huge important impact on whether police will uh, profile you or, or pull you over to the side because Japan is a very image-based society. There's so many shirts that I wear in Australia now as opposed to shirts that I wear in Japan. Um, I do tend to naturally want to wear cleaner clothes where in Australia I just be wearing like you know ripped shirts all the time because in the countryside especially where I am people don't really judge you for the, you know wearing really dirty stuff uh, as much as people would judge you in Japan and that comes down to the police officers as well. If you don't want to be happy 
not sold by police officers. If you're living in Japan and you're wearing daggy clothes and you know um, you see a police officer and you look Asian like me, and that's just my story that I want to share today. So um, I hope you like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.